Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to take a look at Cutthroat Cove by Glass Cricket Games. This is a two to four player game that takes about 10 to 15 minutes to play. If you're going to go ahead down to the table here, I'm going to just show you an overview of how the game plays, and then we're going to come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so this is Pirate's Cove. In Pirate's Cove, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to take your player count and basically in larger player counts, you add some of these cursed cards in, but you're going to shuffle up the treasure deck, which is this, and the blues, the event deck. And you're going to hand out one treasure card to each player and one event card. And you're going to set up a two by five grid of treasure cards available throughout the game. And simply what you're going to be doing on your turn is you're going to be trying to get as close to eight without going over to win the game. So the person who's close to eight without going over uh, will win at the end. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to, on your turn, draw an event card. You're going to pick one of these event cards and do the action that it states on the bottom and discard it. Like a lot of these have actions where take a chess card from the center or from a player with more chess cards than you. So if I take and I use this loop, I can take one of these cards. And now I know I have nine. So now I need to be able to probably get rid of the five. Uh, um, get myself down to eight. So you'll keep doing this until this event deck runs out. And when the event deck runs out, you're going to see who has the appropriate number of gold. That person will win. Now, the, if you have the cursed chest, you can't win. So the cursed chest comes in here. Now, this is a card that you're going to be trying to get rid of throughout the game, either putting it in the middle and having other people get it. Uh, Tiebreakers are done as following. Uh, player with the least number of chests will win. Then the player with the highest chest value closest to eight will win. Then the player uh, draw a chest from the center and the highest value wins. So basically that is how you play Cutthroat Cove. It's a very fast, very fun game. Let's go back up and I'll give you my final thoughts on this game. So this game is a lot of fun. I would consider this a micro game. So it fits into the same thing I use for like, like Coup or Love Letter or other games. Games that I take to a convention or game day or with to play with family or friends that I bring out in between things just to play a couple quick rounds. Super easy to teach, which is great for the game. Super portable and just overall a lot of fun. So if you're looking for a game in that area, uh, to maybe put in with the rest of your other games and play for fun in between things or when you're waiting in line for whatever. This is a really great game to consider and that is Cutthroat Cove. Thank you for watching.